Did you know that you have access to over 14,000 fonts in the Adobe Typekit, which is also sometimes just called Typekit or Adobe Fonts. So if you have a membership to the Adobe Creative Cloud, then you can use all or any of these fonts inside of your Adobe InDesign project. So today I will be showing you exactly how to do that. I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous, and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I do unboxings on Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and flip the screen around and share my screen with you so you can see exactly what I'm looking at. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure that Adobe InDesign is shut down. So do not have it open in the background, just have it shut down completely so that it will sync correctly. Now up here at the top right is your creative cloud symbol and it usually defaults to open up the applications and launch those for you. Again, this is a Mac, so maybe on a PC it's in your start menu. I honestly have no idea, um, but you're going to slide over here to the right find fonts and you'll see here these are all the fonts that I have from the Adobe fonts that I have activated so you can see that little green active now if you get one of these error messages it is not a big deal this just means I already installed the Leto font before before I had tried to install it with Adobe Typekit or maybe before I had Creative Cloud, I have no idea. Um, it doesn't matter. You obviously already have the font on your computer. You don't need to get the Adobe Creative Cloud version. They're the same thing. Uh, but let's say I want some other fonts other than the ones I already have active. So you'll click Browse All Fonts it will bring up a website. It will bring up the Adobe Fonts website, which again, remember this used to be called Typekit. Um, so you'll see still here, Typekit Web Fonts, Adobe Fonts, same thing. Um, I think they just renamed it for branding purposes. So over here at the top right, since I'm already logged into that Creative Cloud, it logged me into the website. However, sometimes, I don't know, on, depending on your computer, you might have to log in again. So you'll have to see yourself and it will have to be the exact same login that you use to launch the app application. I don't know if some of you have multiple Adobe Creative Cloud accounts, but if you activate something in here on this website and you're not logged into the correct account or somebody else is logged into your computer, it's not going to sync. Um, so make sure those are in place first. Now you can search fonts here. I could just type in a font name and it will come up uh, and I could select it that way or I can go back here to browse fonts and these are radio buttons on the left. So these are my filters and radio buttons mean that I can only select one at a time. It's not like check boxes where I can select a few things and see a bunch of selections. These are radio buttons. So let's say I want to install um, this one, lemongrass, right? So I'm gonna go, or let's do coniferous because this has six in there. And I'm gonna click view family and I'm going to see inside here I can do coniferous thin, coniferous light, coniferous regular, coniferous medium, bold, black, right? So there's all these different variations and I could activate them simply by clicking that little slider over here or I can deactivate it. Or if I just decide I want all of them, I can simply say activate all six fonts. So here is your confirmation and that's pretty much it. You're done. Once you open up Adobe InDesign, you are going to be able to see coniferous. So let's head over there right now. It'll take a minute to start. All right, so let's just open up a project that I was working on. And over here under the fonts, so we're gonna go ahead and look for coniferous, if I can spell it. And there it is. We said add the whole font family and it's all in there and waiting for me. So it's really just that easy. Um, there's a couple other options in here. Font packs, what they've done is they've tried to bundle some fonts together that they think will fit into whatever this is called. Um, I actually never go into here. Um, now Typekit web fonts, this is for your website. You can load fonts for your website. I think there's some code you put into the head area um, and this is just them trying to advertise their adobe stock photo stock uh, so that's pretty much all you need to know to use the adobe fonts